Let's celebrate the ways in which we are all laboring for the Lord and all that has been done through those labors. And for one moment, imagine how our lives might be different and how the lives of those around us would be different had that not been so. And this place had never existed. And so to you all on this Labor Day, thank you. Thank you for the way you serve in the world. Thank you for the labor of your lives that you have spent and devoted to other people. Thank you for the ways in which your presence, your unique presence, because God has made you each unique. And thank you for the way you have used your own being and yourself to be a part of God's kingdom and to demonstrate God's kingdom to the world. May you have rest and may you have joy in the work that God has set before you. Amen. Also, a part of <clears throat> our lectionary for this week was this reading for Romans, which as I read through it, I thought, wow, this is a really great expression of how we are to live in the world. And so I invite you to read this Romans text with me responsibly. Let love be genuine. Hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, and serve the Lord. Contribute to the needs of the saints. Extend hospitality to strangers. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil, but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all. If it is possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. No, if your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. For by doing this, you will heap burning coals on their heads.
be seated. So in your bulletin, there is an insert that has as the title of the Great Thanksgiving. And this is the litany that we will use, or one similar to it, on the first Sunday of each month going forward. And um, I would like to share with you that we found out that Dee was going to be here and could sing for us. Um, when the first side of the page was printed, but not the second. <laughs> so on the great Thanksgiving where it comes to, um, on the front page, holy, 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 Dee is going to actually sing that for us. Um, on the second side, we're able to correct that, and so there are no miscues about that. Jesus' invitation was to, to all of us when he said, Come to me, all of you who are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Each week, we are invited to this table where we experience spiritual rest and spiritual nourishment and food. This is the Lord's table, and all who desire closer communion with our Lord are welcome. May the Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. Your abiding love accompanies all our labors. It is good and fruitful work to give you thanks in all times and places and in all our tasks. We lift our praise to you, Almighty God, in our cars, homes, and houses, in our fields and kitchens, at our tables and guests, using our tools, instruments, telephones, and computers. Your people on earth and all the multitude of heaven forever praise you. your work in Jesus Christ, who lived as the son of a carpenter and learned his trade. He healed the servant of a soldier. He delegated his ministry to his disciples and empowered all his followers to do his divine work on earth. By his suffering, death, and resurrection, you gave birth to your church, delivered us from sin and death, and made us a new covenant by water and the Spirit. On the night that Jesus was arrested, Jesus took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when supper was over, he took the cup, and he gave thanks to you and gave it to his disciples, and he said, Drink from this, all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. 
pour out your Holy Spirit upon us and on these your gifts of bread and wine. That the bread we eat and the cup we drink may become for us Christ's presence within us. Herein is the mystery of our faith. Spirit, allow our labors to honor Christ, living in faithful obedience until Christ comes in final victory. As a faithful and commissioned people, we offer ourselves as a living and holy sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty God, through your Son, Jesus Christ, in unity with the Holy Spirit. With the confidence of the children of God, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Come, the meal is ready. <laughs> Is there anyone who would like us to bring this to you? Shall we pray? 
God of labor and God of rest. You have given us work to do, but you do not expect us to labor unendingly. With grateful hearts and rested souls, we thank you for your gifts of bread and wine that nourish us both physically and spiritually. And thank you for strengthening us for the days ahead. Amen. together um, the prayers of the people and our response is when I say as we labor for Christ's kingdom please reply with hear our prayer O oh, Jesus worker and carpenter from Nazareth on this labor day we thank you for your care and loving concern for workers throughout the world we remember all workers men and women, young and old of all races, ethnic and language groups around the world. Regardless of the type of work we do, paid or unpaid, public or private, building, serving or planning, help us to create workplaces that respect human dignity and reflect your calling to be people who care for others. For workers who face dangerous conditions or hazards in their work, who toil without protection or resources, we pray that they would be saved from harm. As we labor for Christ's kingdom, for children whose childhood has been cut short because they are forced to work. For all workers who have been affected by labor disputes or who have been retaliated against as a result of their union activity or because they sought justice in their place of employment. For all who face difficulties who are discriminated against in getting work or at the workplace because of race, gender, ethnic group, sexual orientation, physical abilities, or political or religious beliefs. As we labor for Christ's kingdom, for all those who face the conflicts of working and caring for children without adequate support, for workers who are displaced by technical changes or global pressures to relocate their jobs, for all workers who cannot find work and for whom unemployment assistance is not available. For all workers whose work is taken for granted, is unappreciated, or lacks meaning. As we labor for Christ's kingdom, Lord, we pray for those who are ill and whose bodies are failing. We ask that you surround them with your love and carry them in your healing grace. Lord, we trust that your economy of grace, in which each of us has a place of importance and worth, will demonstrate itself to the world, and our lives will have meaning, we trust our lives have meaning, apart from what we do or what we accomplish. And for this we give you thanks and offer our praise. Amen. All the world is the Lord's vineyard, and we are the laborers within, therein. The bounty of our labor belongs to God, who trusts us to manage it. In gratitude for the abundance of God's mercy, we bring to God our gifts and our offerings.
receive, Holy One, one fruits of our, our labor, labor which, which we return, return to, to you. Bless them and the work of the church which they support. Use them to fulfill our deep desire to help others as you have commanded. Help us to continue to be your faithful stewards. Amen. you are a beloved child of God and that is true regardless of what we do or do not accomplish in our lives and we are a treasure just because we exist you are a treasure just because you exist and in addition to that we have the great privilege of serving others and being fruitful in the world and what we learn when we do that is there is a richness of experience that we get that would not have happened otherwise. And that is the great joy of servanthood and servant leadership is that God takes us into places and we experience new and different things that we would have missed had we not followed that calling. So go in peace. Rest from your labors, every opportunity you have. And in that rest, be nurtured and fortified and renewed. And go and follow God's calling for your life. Go in peace. Amen.